Greetings! Hi! Um, welcome to the third episode of the Daddy Issues Club. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, as you can see with the wool from the last episode, I finished making a little top. Um, looking kind of cute for someone in quarantine. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me show you guys. Um, I hope you have your knitting. I'm actually making a little pair of shorts and a beverage. Hmm. I have now obtained my beverage. It's hot lemon water, but it's got green tea. So it's green tea with lemon. Today's episode is all about vision boards. I thought that would be super fun. Um, vision boards and making goals has been part of my life for many, many years since I can remember. As a teenager, I was very like type A kind of vibes. So I would write down all my goals in the beginning of each year. And then halfway through the year, I reevaluate. And at the end of the year, I go and look and see which goals I achieved and which I didn't quite manage. Um, and most of the time I would achieve everything on my list. Um, and then last year I was on Pinterest a lot and I discovered the magic vision board and I was in a precarious situation. Daddy Issues Club, my dad is Gonzo's and it was up to him to make sure that my school university fees were paid and when the time came to do so, he um, <laughs> disappeared. Um, but anyway, when that happened, it was heartbreaking and I had no idea how I was gonna come up with the, whoops, um, how I was gonna come up with the money for that. So I made a vision board and I wrote myself a check for, for the amount that I had owed for university. Um, and it was a lot of money and I was afraid. Um, my mom had put her house up for sale and I applied for like tons of bursaries, um, even bursaries and schemes and scholarships that weren't for film or art students. So it was a tough time. But at the end of the year, when I went to go check my fee statement, an anonymous donor had paid the exact amount I had written on my vision board into my university account. And obviously they're not magic in the sense that you don't have to do any work, but having a vision board and something to look at and meditate on and take action upon your goals really, really helps. And it's very therapeutic to make one. And um, I always have fun with them. Um, I'm gonna show you two that I've made, maybe one academic goals obviously I can pursue I am a straight A student <laughs> so smart in fact so here is the first one um, it is <laughs> fun it looks very young but I love it it's here's my Oscar that's in a, like 20 years or so um, very soon and these are like my body goals you know a little bit of fashion um, these are my academic goals for next year as well hopefully when I graduate and as well as acceptance letters um, to the universities I want to go to for my master's degree and um, here is the other one um, which just has some travel goals and that's not happening because corona and just everything I want to be as a human being. Um, I really do recommend you write down your goals and it doesn't matter how small the goals are, remember that. And yeah, vision boards help you become the CEO and the sunshine of your own life. <laughs> oh, I still have these on.